In this tutorial, we're going to go over camera setup in the settings screen. So go ahead and click the settings button and then click camera down here at the bottom. And it's going to bring up the camera setup and recording setup screen. Um, again, usually the defaults will work fine. We'll go over a few of the settings that that you may need to change. Uh, for camera type, NTSC, you know, if, if you purchased it here in the U.S., uh, you're going to use NTSC. If you're in another region, you may have to change this to PAL. Um, bit rate, you want to leave this at variable. Um, image size, this is, this is relevant based on whether or not you want to record video at a full 30 frames per second. You, you have the option of going 320 by 240, 528 by 320, and 704 by 480. If you use 320 by 240, you can record at a full 30 frames per second. And you'll, you'll, you'll see, I'm sorry, here in the middle, the frame rate is listed here. Uh, if you want to increase the image size to, to D1 resolution, which is 704 by 480, you're going to have to drop the frame rate to no more than 15 frames per second. At full D1 resolution, the highest frame rate you can use is 15 frames per second. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, we're just going to keep this at 320 by 240 and change this back to 30. But that is something important to note that if you use the full D1 resolution, the frame rate has to be changed to 15. If you don't change it to 15, you can run into problems. Uh, record days, you can leave that on auto. Um, select a camera, that just means that any of these settings that we're adjusting here will be applied to this camera. Uh, this is probably the first thing that you should actually select because if you want to make changes to another camera, if you're making changes here, you want to make sure that they're being applied to the camera you want these changes to. To be applied to because you can you can change image size and resolution for each camera independently you may want camera one to record at 320 by 240 at 30 frames per second you may want camera two to record at full d1 resolution at 15 frames per second so this is where you choose which camera you're going to apply the changes to uh, enable obviously you want to make sure that that this setting is set to enable if you want to record that particular camera that you selected here. Um, On-screen display, uh, yes or no, this determines whether or not the date and time and, and the name of the camera are displayed, uh, are, are stamped on the video. You can adjust the contrast of the on-screen display so that if the background is light, uh, you can lower the contrast so that the on-screen display is darker and vice versa. Camera description is where you can actually change the name of the camera. By, by default, each camera is designated a name by a number. So the first camera is camera 01, camera 02 is the second one, and so on. Uh, we can just change this to, we'll just change this to office. And remote frame rate, um, you you can you can limit the frame rate that remote viewers are capable of viewing video at. This has to be this this is this is set relative to what you what you've set in the frame rate setting over here. So basically, this this number cannot be higher than what you set here. What that means is if, if, for instance, we had changed this to 704 by 480 for the image size, which means you have to change the frame rate to 15 or less, this, this is going to gray out so that you don't put an inappropriate setting in here. Um, it's grayed out because by default, 30 was selected. And you cannot choose a remote frame rate that is greater than the frame rate of the live video that you selected here. So that's why that's grayed out. Now, if 
we go back to 320 by 240 and we throw this up to 30 we can then choose a lower frame rate and remote image size you can change this to something that's different from the live video usually you just use this you, you just use the default which is same as recording and this this here is really handy any settings that you make to this particular camera you can copy that to all or you can just copy it to another camera we're just gonna copy it to all and that's it for the settings for a camera setup.